How's everyone doing? Thanks for joining me on my small engine repair channel. Today's project is this uh, Brute branded uh, self-propelled push mower and the problem we're having with it is the uh, self-propel cable needs to be replaced. Alright guys, so I have had this uh, mower in uh, a previous video and uh, it uh, was here for a uh, tune-up with a no start condition. But uh, during that uh, tune-up process, I noticed that the uh, self-propel system actually wasn't disengaging and uh, I was able to kind of get it uh, rigged up. But uh, as you can see, this cable is actually uh, frayed and split uh, and that you can see this one is bent in the same spot for the uh, the brake band cable the one behind it so that's a complete byproduct of the fact that this uh, handlebar was taken off and uh, these cables were pinched or bent so if you decide to uh, fold down the handlebars for storage or uh, transportation, just make sure you don't uh, pinch or fray these cables, okay? So I'm going to show you how to replace one of these cables on this particular mower. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is uh, we'll start at the top here and um, work our way down. Just twist this Z-bend and take it out, okay? And then we have to take this out of the holder right here and to do that you're going to need a pair of uh, needle nose pliers and you're going to stick them in here and there's two tabs that you're going to have to depress all the while pulling down on this cable So there you go. Next thing we're going to do is to start pulling the cable out from these little holders. And then you can see this one zip tied here, so get a pair of pliers and snip that off. cable through all right and then this guy you just pull back on that little tab and then that guy comes through and we get down to the base here um, so this is a 5 16 Here's where the cable comes in. So to uh, get at the cable, you gotta go from the bottom side. So I'm gonna flip, flip this mower over, carburetor side up. Okay, and then as you can see, this cable runs in here. There's a Z-bend at the, at the end of this cable, which goes into this but up in this area right there, there's that bracket at the end of the cable. So there's two tabs on either side of that bracket that you can just get with a flathead screwdriver. So I'm gonna hold pressure on the top side here while I'm trying to push down and up on the tabs on either side of this. And there we go, okay. 
So I'm just pulling, get, get some slack on this cable now and then pull, make this, pull the Z bend out and there you go. And then I can just pull the, the whole cable up through. Cables removed. All right, guys. So the uh, replacement uh, cable for this particular mower is uh, Husqvarna part number five eight eight four seven nine two zero one, and this is a Stens aftermarket uh, two nine zero five twenty. All right, to install just the reverse, I'm going to stick the uh, cable through the top side here. And with plenty of slack in the cable, I'm just going to make this 90 degree Z bend fit up and in here. I'm going to try. <laughs> there we go. slack from the cable on the other end so that I can get the sheathing down and then we just this is just gonna snap into place on the top side just like so flip the mower back over all right so now we're just gonna kind of feed it backwards through all of the holders. Guys, this would be a heck of a lot easier if I wasn't holding the camera with one hand, so just so you know. back up to the handlebar area so what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna feed the uh, loose end of the cable in to the holder there and I'm just gonna push that in and it snaps in place okay and then up here get the z-bend in now if this is it there we go and that's it now this is going to test it and when i pull the handle you can see it's putting tension there on the cell propel system okay so that's all there is to uh changing one of these uh, cables guys so uh, hopefully it was informative it could help you guys out and uh, if you liked it please uh, go ahead and hit the like button and if you're not already a subscriber and uh, you like uh, small engine repair content go ahead and uh, consider hitting the subscribe button and the uh, notification bell next to it and then you'll be notified each and every week i publish a new video just like this one so until the next project guys take care